All right then, so we saw in the last lesson how to make named middleware in the middleware folder and then use that in any page or route that needs it. And the way we used it in those pages was by setting the middleware property down here in the page meta to be an array. And inside that array, we declare the name of the middleware we want to use. Now, the fact that this value is an array suggests that we can pass multiple middleware functions into it, and we can do. Now, when we do that, each middleware function runs one after another in turn in the order that they're placed into the array. And when this happens, it's called middleware chaining. Now, when you do this, you need to be careful of the order that you place your middleware in, because when we run a certain middleware and return out of that middleware function, then it stops the chain. For example, in the auth middleware, we return a redirect if the user isn't authenticated. And that means since we return this and navigate somewhere else, if we then added more middleware functions in the chain after this one, then they wouldn't actually run because we already returned out of a previous one. So again, the order is important. Okay, so now we know we can run multiple middleware functions. Let's make another one and we're gonna add it to the admin route. So then currently in the admin page, we apply the auth middleware, and that checks if the current user is logged in by way of reading the cookie, and then redirects the user if they're not authenticated. And we apply the same auth middleware to the index page as well. So this is good, but now as well as being authenticated, I'd like it so that only users who are admins can see the admin page, and not just any old logged in user. Now on the login page, if we go over there, when we log in, we can see that we set a role property on the user as well. And by default, that role gets set to be just user, meaning they're just a regular user, nothing special, they're not an admin. So although this user might log in, because the role is an admin, I don't want them to see the admin page. So they're authenticated, yes, but they don't have the required permissions. So instead, what I'd like to do for those users is redirect them back to the homepage. So then to do this, we need to make another middleware function to check the role of the user who is logged in. Now, we're going to make this middleware in its own file, like we did before, inside the middleware folder. So let's make a new file here and call it admin.ts or .js if you're using JavaScript. And then to save me writing out a lot of this from scratch, I'm going to head to the auth middleware and I'm gonna copy this whole file because I'm super lazy. Then I'm gonna paste this in the admin file. And now we just need to remove the body of this function. So we're still using this define nuxt route middleware function, which wraps the middleware function itself. And we're still exporting that as well. But then inside this function, we need to now do a few things. First, we need to access the user cookie, right? That's the first thing we need to do. Then we need to check the role property of the cookie value to see if it's an admin or something else. Then we need to conditionally navigate the user to the index page if they're not an admin. And we need to return out of the function so the admin page isn't rendered. So since we'll be using a property of this user cookie, I'm gonna quickly paste in um, a type alias to define how the cookie object or cookie value should look so that we don't get any complaints from TypeScript in a minute. And this type called user just outlines two properties, a username and a role, which are both strings. And when we access the cookie using the use cookie composable, Nuxt deserializes the cookie into an object, which is gonna look like this with those two properties. Okay, so now we can come to the function and we can access the cookie by saying const user and set that equal to use cookie. And then we're gonna use angle brackets right here, first of all, to say what kind of structure we expect this to return to us. And that is gonna be an object of type user that we just defined. All right, and now we can invoke this and say we wanna access the user cookie. Cool, so now we have this user object whose value property is gonna be of type user. And TypeScript now knows about the role property on that value, which we're gonna check. And now what we can do is a little live check to see if the role is an admin. So let's say if, and then parentheses, and inside those, we're gonna say user.value, that accesses the cookie value, and then on that, we have a property called role. So we access that role value, and we wanna see if that is not equal to admin. So if this is true, this statement, it means the role is not admin, and they shouldn't view the admin page. And in that case, we should navigate the user to the index page. 
To do that, we can say return and then navigate to, and we want to navigate to just forward slash, meaning the index page or the home page. All right then. So now when the middleware runs, we're checking the role of the user. If it's not admin, we return this navigate to method and direct the user to the home page so they never see the admin page. If they are an admin, then we don't return out of the function and therefore the admin page gets rendered to the browser as normal. So now we just need to apply this middleware to the admin page. So let's head over there and we need to add the admin middleware to this array right here, which specifies the middleware functions to run for this route. Now, remember, I said at the start of this lesson that the order in this array mattered because they run one after another. So in our case, the admin one should probably go second so that we can do a basic auth check first of all, because if they're not authenticated at all, it makes no sense doing an admin check, right? So we need to place the admin middleware, which is the name of the file remember after the auth middleware. All right, cool. So now when we land on this page, we run the auth function first of all, the auth middleware, then the admin one. And remember, when we log into the application, the role is set to user by default, so we shouldn't be allowed to see this admin page currently, even though we're authenticated. All right, so I'm currently logged in and I can't see any of those pages. If I try logging in now as Peach and then whatever for the password, I'm gonna log in. Okay, so we can see the index page still. Now, if we go to the admin page, well, we can't see it. If we go to the login page, I'm still logged in, remember, because it can go back to the home page. But then I'm going to show you that when I go to the admin page, it redirects me to the home page, like so, because now we don't have the permissions to view the admin page because we're not on admin. Now, what I'm going to do, though, is go to the role over here where we log in, and I'm going to set that to be admin by default to see if this makes any difference, which it should. We should now be able to see the admin page because we're saying if the role is not admin, then we navigate to the home page. If it is admin, then we don't do this. We don't return out of the function. Therefore, the admin page should be shown in the browser. All right, so I'm logged out again and I've refreshed the website and I'm now going to try logging back in again. And remember, this time the role is going to be set to admin by default when we log in. So we should be able to view the admin page when we visit it and yep sure enough we can see that now awesome and just before we finish i want to stress a point again like i did in a video earlier in the series and that point is that as well as protecting routes and pages on the front end you also need to protect your data if it's only intended for certain authenticated people on the back end as well the front end stuff is purely intended to keep a nice user experience and a flow on the website and any sensitive data absolutely needs to be locked down on the back end to make things secure.